if you are born on 4th, 13th, 22nd or 31st of any month, then you are ruled by the planet Rahu. And we are going to be looking into how your planet is going to work with the energies of the year that is 2024, which is ruled by the planet Saturn. And what can you expect within this year? Now I have my notes written on my laptop and I'm recording also on my laptop, which means if at any point you see my eyes hovering, that is because I'm using my notes as a reference point. Now what is Rahu? Rahu is sudden. It can be good sudden, it can be bad sudden, but things happening suddenly. You reacting or you taking decisions in your life suddenly. Rahu is also innovator. Rahu is someone who says, let's break rules a little bit. Let's, it's, it's okay to risk it. Let's be a little bit adventurous. Rahu is also uh, someone that seeks short term gratification. I don't want to stay in it for too long. I want to just see if it's going to work out for me or not. Immediately, I want to know the answer. Yes, no, right now. Rahu is also an illusionist. If you're sad, you'll be very sad or you would just let the negativity impact your mind way too much than needed. If you're happy, you'll be very happy. You will let the happiness take over your mind way too much. Rahu is also anger. Rahu is ego. It is also ego clashes with people. Rahu is restlessness and also lack of focus. Rahu is a high on energy child, always bursting with energy. Just wants to be out there, do things. It's, it's like a little restless child. But what is Saturn? Saturn, as Amitabh Bachchan would say, is Pratishtha Anushasan Parampara. Saturn is sacrifice. Saturn is a hard taskmaster. It's a strict teacher. It says, be in limits and be patient. Now, when a child that is high on innovation, that has good risk-taking capacity, that is somewhat of an illusionist, meets a strict teacher, a guru, what happens? <laughs> Rahu feels restricted. Rahu feels that, no, I, I want to be breaking the shackles. I want to be breaking the glass wall. I want to be out there doing my thing. I want to be impulsive, it's okay if I have chosen this, it's okay if I suddenly shift gears and I want to move like this. And that's where the Saturn comes with its stick in its hand to say, hey, you are supposed to follow the rules. You are supposed to be in your limits. You are supposed to take calculated risks. And then Rahu says, what calculation? I know I'm following my heart. I know I, I just know things. But then again, Saturn says, no, you don't know. And this is exactly what the story of your 2024 is going to be, where you would be fighting with, let's say, like a very strict traditional parent. And you would want to be out there doing your thing, finding your footing in the world. And then your parent is like, no, I have set certain limitations for you. This is what you need to function within. Now also understand that uh, we are also astrologically in a strong transit period of Rahu Ketu up until 2025. Which means uh, from wherever your Rahu is transiting in your chart, in that house there are likely to be breakthroughs. There are also going to be obstacles and challenges depending upon the placement of your Rahu, what it is aspected by, what house is it in. So Rahu, for you specifically, is also going to play a very crucial role in the coming year. And expect a lot of sudden changes. Now the thing is, when we speak of sudden changes, we automatically think, oh my god, is it going to be bad? Because Rahu has always been associated with uh, something bad is going to happen. But actually that's not true, you know. Some of the most... Uh, uh, prom uh, eminent personalities uh, in the world have Rahu placed in strong positions and that's how they get their fame, that's how they get their recognition. So because Rahu is also transiting astrologically over the next two entire year, you are number four ruled by Rahu and all this is being aspected by the energy of Saturn numerologically for the coming year. 
so which basically means that there would be a lot of changes in your life now these changes can be good they can also be bad but it will feel very sudden some sudden opportunity coming your way you don't even know if you should take it or not and this is where you might have to channelize your rahu energy and be a little swift in decision making because what i said rahu is also an illusionist which means that when anything comes to you you get into the mode of doubting it asking yourself is it going to be the right thing is it something that is going to be worthy for me is it something that i would enjoy and uh, is this going to yield the results that i seek but you may not have time in the year when certain opportunities come to you to think so much about it which means that throughout the year one advice would be to be a little bit more centered and more observant of things more swiftly do not be absent minded and this is a very very big advice that i'm giving you for the coming year because rahu's energy is which is illusionist which is also restlessness lack of focus wanting to break rules creates absent mindedness in people uh, creates a sense of being lost and not like a lost that they, even they would know in their head they are like always thinking about things they are busy doing things but then you would realize that oh i i was lost i should have been more focused one month ago because that is exactly what somebody had told me if i sh- would have listened intently maybe i would not have been where i am currently or maybe i would have known if i need to choose this opportunity or not so be wary of being absent minded this year or being too lost in your thoughts this year which reminds me rahu also makes you a little bit delirious somebody who's living in a la la land um who realizes things a little too late and because like i said it is the energy of an illusionist so if something negative is happening in your mind it's 100x if something a good is happening in your mind it's multiplied it it's multiplied by 100 so that's why once that illusionist mindset settles then you realize oh it wasn't as bad or oh it wasn't as great and this is something you would have to be cautious of within this year now a uh, couple of pointers that are important for you within this year is that you need to continue what you are doing this year and you need to strengthen your foundation although it is said astrologically that the energies of rahu and saturn are very similar it can make or break a person and it can really give a lot of sudden good opportunities or suddenly it can cause your downfall so often you would see that people tend to think that these two energies work together well in reality that is not the case because like i explained you in the starting of the video a rebel rule breaking adventure and thrill seeking energy is meeting a strict teacher a strict traditional parent that is never a good combination we all know it right but does it mean that it's a bad combination no does it mean oh it's going to throw a lot of problems and obstacles your way possibly not a lot but definitely a few so for this year another important thing to note is to continue doing what you are doing because your rahu especially in this year amidst all the obstacles and challenges that saturn will throw your way and it's your universal energy saturn is going to be throwing challenges along everyone's way you would feel like bringing change in your life suddenly you may decide oh i don't want to pursue this education anymore i don't want to continue with this job anymore i don't want to do this i don't want to do that oh i suddenly want to break up with so and so person but no you are supposed to continue doing and strengthening the foundation of what you are doing do not in this particular aspect let the rahu energy tackle you instead you tackle it back by borrowing from the attributes of saturn which is sacrifice which is diligence its consistency its hard work its being patient 
it's being okay accepting the slow growth or the slow movement in your life this would be an important year where i would actually tell you to avoid new beginnings to avoid anything completely new or completely different simply focus on strengthening what you have now does it mean that if you are wanting to add a another skill set to yourself you should not do that or does it mean if you want to expand your business into other domains should you not do that no absolutely not you should do it but at the same time make sure that it's not a complete differentiation from what you are doing meaning if you are studying um aeronautical engineering and now suddenly you want to become a dj maybe not this year <laughs> maybe do it next year because it's it's going to be a different year next year with different energies but not this year so if you're studying aeronautical engineering and maybe within that there is something else that you want to do or you want to simply become a content creator that talks about planes and uh, um the entire technicality of it and share your flying journey then that's something separate and that is something that you can continue so any expansion that comes out of from what you are already doing and builds up on it is something that is going to be great for you this year now another important piece of advice for you this year is you need to take frequent breaks and i don't know how you will plan it financially or in terms of your time but every 3 months you need to take a 3 to 4 day short break uh this is going to be extremely important for you this year otherwise the rahu chaos in your mind and saturn's um dismissal of that chaos and wanting to you to be just be present and do your bit and show up consistently is really going to become very very taxing for you so every 3 months you need to go on a 4 or 5 day uh, short trip or short holiday come back refreshed and then you would see that you're really able to keep at it when it comes to your relationships your work your life and yourself okay now um another thing to note here is that for some of you this might be a very important year in terms of materializing your partnerships romantic partnerships business partnerships things will get materialized but like i said as long as you're not shifting gears if you're somebody who was single and maybe in the year you have your breakup and then suddenly you decide to go for arranged marriage or find somebody else and you get into a relationship this is what i would not advise if you go through a breakup this year then i would actually tell you to maybe keep this year as a year where you stay single if you are someone who is wanting to formalize or materialize your relationship with your partner this year this is going to be a good year if you're already married and uh, you want to now bring more spark growth in your relationship this is going to be a fabulous year for that especially for people who are married uh, or who are already in a relationship you would see you growing your partner growing this year in the relationship but one thing i would tell you to be extremely careful of is ego clashes with people around you because rahu is already anger ego restlessness and it's going to be constantly poked by saturn in the entire year because saturn is also the year of karma whatever you have done in the past is going to come and bite you in the ass whatever good you have done is going to come up and show itself so it will be a year of challenges you know where you would just feel that things are moving slow and when will it start picking up pace this is what you would question a lot so you're already going to be a little bit disturbed in your mind and that is when when it comes to relationships with your family your siblings your partner there is a chance of ego clashes there is a chance of you showing arrogance uh you being angry too soon you being reactive and this is something you have to be extremely careful of within this year um another important point for all uh the people who are watching this video but specifically if your number is 22 is that 
do not be the person who sucks the energy from other people uh, because rahu uh, like i said is an illusionist okay um it will make you restless and because of the energies of saturn we know it's going to be somewhat of a challenging year and this may want you to reach out to people um have somebody who can provide you the comfort who can uh, provide you the emotional or mental strength and that is good we all seek that and that is important but at the same time do not become that person who is constantly reaching out to people or seeking their energy to make yourself feel better especially if your number is 22 your birth number why because 22 if we separate it two and two uh, it also brings energies of moon and what happens that your mind is going to be a little bit foggy cluttered disturbed together it makes the energies of rahu in the year of saturn already during the year when it's a rahu ketu transit so there is a chance that you might be very demanding of people and this is also relevant for people who are not born on 22 but carry the other numbers which come under the energy of rahu you can be very demanding of people emotionally and mentally you could want a lot of attention you would want a lot of focus on yourself from other people and let me be very honest mostly people of uh, this energy sometimes when they get into the zone of wanting attention they may not be able to give the same back to the other person and especially you know like all that i've spoken about the energies of this year you are going to be very busy thinking about oh i'm not able to understand if i should be risk taking if i should just uh, continue at what i'm doing and that is why you will not have the energy as such to focus on anybody else and this is not a conscious thing this would be very subconscious like i said in the starting you're likely to be absent minded you know so that is why just be very wary that you're not becoming very demanding in relationships towards anybody in fact this would be a good year to be more present for others around you to develop your emotional maturity your uh, mental maturity more this year because see rahu like i said is again illusionist it's restlessness it's ego which basically means that you may think certain things which may not be true and that is why being there for other people would play well because a it would negate these negative aspects of rahu and bring in more positive energies of saturn because saturn is about tradition saturn demands that no you respect your parents that's one of the lessons that you also learn with saturn so if you're focusing more on others in a more present manner that would be helpful but honestly we are living in uh, the times of kaliyug so sucking someone else's energy or giving too much of your energy both are incorrect so make sure that you're just keeping a very balanced approach in regards to this now coming to your health um uh, rahu is not a great a great planet when it comes to health and saturn is not a great planet when it comes to health now both the energies of great planets which are not great for health are coming together for you in this year so what can you expect number one thing that you can expect is increase in gastro issues increase in joint pains increase in the feeling of being down always feeling a lot of lethargy so you will have to be cautious of this another thing because of all that will be happening in the year sudden changes sudden things happening there would be sudden moments when you would be very happy and you would feel oh my god my body is also there supporting me and then sudden moment of completely going down where you would feel no i can't even get up from the bed or i i just don't feel right and this is something that you would have to be careful of because of which i would say having a workout plan even if you can just start working three times in a week would be very very beneficial to you the more you release all that's here and that's stuck in your body emotions that are stuck in your body 
through a workout, through some physical activity, that is going to be extremely, extremely helpful to you. Now, this is also a good year where some of you can actually get fame. But fame comes at the cost of hard work. Because always remember, quick fame is always short-lived. You know, every year we see, you know, in Bollywood, oh, National Crush of India, it started from Disha Patni, then it went to Rashmi Kamandana. I think now it's that Tripti Dimri. So, um, fame that is quick, that is without a lot of effort is always short-lived. But fame that sees consistent efforts makes you a superstar. We all know the story of Shah Rukh, right? So there is a very strong possibility of you also getting fame this year. Especially if you are number uh, 4 and if you are number 13. Yes, there is a very strong chance of fame this year. Also, if you are 31, fame may not happen this year but this would be a year where you lay the foundation of that so here fame and recognition could mean fame at work recognition at work if you're a creator fame could mean there um anything for which you get recognized is fame because also you know we are living in such times that fame for everybody is anyway very short-lived uh, because the people who are supposed to be uh, uh providing us the fame are uh, audience or the people who follow us even their attention span is short span right but this is definitely a year where you could get fame again combining it with the sudden uh, uh, energy of Rahu there is a chance that you could suddenly go wild if there is some project that you have been doing suddenly it may get picked up by a lot of news boards and you realize oh everybody is talking about this campaign that I did so if you're a creator <clears throat> somebody of your can go viral so suddenness is going to be a very big theme of this year and i also said that you know it's not always bad sudden sometimes it's also good surprises now coming to your work i've already mentioned that you need to continue doing what you're doing this year this is not a great year for completely shift of gears or a complete new beginning no branching out from what you're doing is good but uh, planting a new plant is not the right approach also be aware of a very rigid or a fixated mindset this year because that is your Rahu going to be talking okay because Saturn is wisdom Rahu is not really wisdom Saturn is wisdom so when Saturn says rigidity that's only because Saturn is trying to make you perfect Saturn says no keep at it keep at it keep at it keep at it yes now you have become perfect in this but Rahu's rigidity is I know what I'm doing and I know that what I'm doing is going to be right and that's where again Saturn would come with its teacher's uh, stick and hit you and tell you that no, you are supposed to continue at it. You're supposed to learn perfection. This is also very good year. Uh, lastly, importance of communication would be extremely important for you this year. Especially if you're in an industry that requires uh, communication, uh, like you're in marketing, you are in media entertainment industry, uh, communication is going to be extremely important. How well you speak, how well you express, how well you present yourself is something that you would have to focus on this year. Because what Rahu can do, Rahu can sway you. Or Rahu would say a lot here but a lot would not come here so in your head you may have already said the entire sentence but to somebody you may have just said no because in your head okay i'll, I'll give an example uh, do you want to uh, go out for a coffee in your head you may have said oh you know what i'm keeping a little busy these days and uh, i know i have been telling you no consistently that's just because life is a little bit exhausting right now but let's meet for coffee in few weeks but that you will say here. Here you will just say, no, I can't. And then suddenly the other person may be like, oh, this is the third time that I asked them for coffee and they have been very weird about it. Maybe I should not ask them anymore. And like I said, opportunity knocks. I don't know if I said it, but opportunity knocks once or twice. And this is a year of sudden things coming to you. You never know just going on a coffee with that particular friend might yield into something. Okay. So that's why be very cautious 
when you're trying to express yourself a you're clear about it b you're better about it you're expressing yourself properly this is also going to be very important in relationships dismissing other person's communication or simply dismissing things too quickly or not expressing yourself properly would only uh, bother you because in the end you would just feel oh i'm not being understood right oh i'm not being taken in the right spirit and that is because your communication is what needs to be worked upon uh last thing for this year tying it back to health be wary of getting addicted or forming a pattern in regards to your health for any bad habit drinking smoking binge eating getting into a habit of eating sweets daily after meals not working out mental health because you can imagine with all these energies of course the mental health is also going to be impacted there would be moments when you would just feel things are just not working out it isn't meant to be life is so hard so just make sure you're not forming any patterns this year when it comes to your health and addictions overall it is a wonderful year to strengthen what you have because saturn would support you the moment you tell your rahu self that you know what if it's about risk there are risks staying in it i will continue being in it then your saturn supports you and says i like that and i will support you in becoming perfect in attaining the fame that you seek in attaining the recognition that you seek and with it of course comes the money So yes that was it my analysis uh, numerologically for your number now we are going to be looking into your tarot so I've taken out your cards here with me and you would be so surprised and you know what I get surprised every time I see how different occult modalities just come together to say the same thing there's one card that I have here which is the card of tower and you know what does tower mean in tarot sudden Yes. It just means that everything will happen at a sudden moment when you least expect it. Things may just go haphazard, and this is literally what I spoke of uh, in numerology analysis. Also, I just love everything occult. <laughs> okay, so coming to your reading, and also like let me ease you out on the suddenness. I'll I'll ease into it also. So um, first thing, it's very important. to continue with what you are doing with love this is the year where you need to use the affirmation i love hard work okay also another thing that i think i forgot to mention in the starting of the video is that saturn says i can give you a lot okay i can really help you with all your desires but are you worthy of it are you deserving of it and this is where the rahu mind goes like you know what i don't want it only i'll figure my own way because you know i have it in me rahu is that little notorious child who's like no i want to go this way but uh, a child needs the support of its parent correct similarly this year you have to show to saturn that i am deserving of it all right what i'm feeling as i'm reading this also is that some of you who are watching this could be who are going to be inheriting eventually something from their family or family's business and if you're involved or if this is a year where you're going to be involved in the business this is just going to be a year to understand and truly learn everything and listen to your parents so yeah So coming on to this card which is the princess of cups you need to focus on continue loving the hard work and love what you are doing because see when we talk about cement the foundation oh sorry cement your uh, uh, work your relationship more strengthen it it will not happen if you don't love it if you're in a toxic or a bad relationship you would want to break up correct so which is also the sign if you don't love something maybe it's time to take a pause but i don't see that happening with other cards here or maybe i do actually some of you may completely halt something this year could be a relationship honestly for all we know 
so yeah so this is a year where if you want to strengthen something you need to infuse love in it you need to do it with so much of love that the universe feels compelled to bow down in front of your love and give you all that you deserve okay uh this is also going to be a period of lot of ideas coming to your mind and i would actually tell you it's important that you write your ideas or you implement your ideas especially if it's about your work uh lot of new little little thoughts keep on coming to you and this is what rahu does you know it just keeps on giving you something new every couple of weeks or couple of months and then you just feel very uh 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 affected by it because oh i can do this i can do this i can do that but then you didn't really know how to put it all together so i would just say keep the ideas written in a diary or somewhere and then forget about it and then revisit it few weeks later and then you would realize that maybe out of those six ideas only one makes sense depending upon if you want to take this particular video seriously that is that strengthen the foundation a year of growth sun i'm telling you this is especially going to be very very relevant for people who are carrying the number 13 and 31 from knowledge from consistency from diligence there is going to be immense growth in your life and this is not to say that it's not going to be relevant for people who are carrying number 4 and 2 a 22 because obviously i don't have your natal chart which would talk more about the energies of this year in detail but great year if you continue putting love in what you do if you continue investing in a healthy manner with love in relationships in your career in your health you would come out as a changed person this year and this is also a card of fame this is also a card of recognition this is a card of being seen by the world and interestingly we also have the world card here so which means it's a great year for you in terms of recognition and finding your footing in this world okay but because we have the world card here and there's no card in tarot that has only one meaning this is also a year of closing out a lot of karmic cycles a lot of things you would realize that happened to you this year is your own karma playing out good or bad either way but your own karma playing out and you would be closing chapters on few things in your life now you can close chapters if you want don't start anything new i would say take a pause and uh, speaking from a personal experience taking a pause before starting anything new a good pause would be great for you because you might realize in the end you might simply want to come back to what you shut down okay so i would tell you to be very cautious of how you are expressing yourself especially so that no door or uh, is shut uh, for you okay like if you want to go back to a person if you want to go back to your work no door should be shut for you so yes but yes definitely karmically certain chapters are going to be closed out for you for good and whatever comes to you naturally allow it all right another thing there is a chance of a lot of international travels this year you could actually travel internationally twice or thrice also this year so i am seeing that happening this is going to be a year of metamorphosis you're going to change after this year as a person there would be a lot more wisdom that you would have after this year you would understand things more better worldly wisdom i think this is a year where you would learn worldly wisdom and interesting maybe that is why you know numerologically also i said that don't give in too much energy but at the same time don't suck energy of the other person i think that is also something to do with this card you would realize where you also go wrong you would realize where you go right and then it would be just about dialing up all the positives and keeping the negatives under check now coming to the card that i spoke about first the tower which is abrupt le things happening in your life now what is this abruptly things happening in your life now see look at this card okay it's a beautiful card it's like you know the volcano is being infused by something divine and as if this divine is going to light up or make this bird alive again okay so 
it's positive it's not as negative but yes a lot of suddenness happening in your life this year suddenly some opportunity will come your way suddenly you make new friends suddenly you find uh, uh, some new course something new that you want to learn and you feel oh my god it's a great time to be alive but at the same time don't feel like that because like i said rahu tends to uh, amplify everything just keep a very economist mind and keep things very balanced but suddenness would also be suddenly losing out on some opportunity suddenly losing out on some friendship suddenly realizing something that really changes your perspective on life awakening that is also another message that i'm getting here now what is awakening awakening is when you wake up to the higher wisdom and the higher truth and i know we use all of these words and then it tends to become very spiritually inclined and because i'm talking to a rahu person i would keep the spirituality side of it less but awakening could simply mean that maybe since the last few years you have been moving in a particular friend circle and this year you suddenly realize that you know what no they are not right for me they are not the people i should be with instead i should be mingling with such and such people so that is something what's going to happen also good year for manifestation and things coming to fruition for you there are two three wishes in the entire year you manifest or you don't manifest but there are two three things that would get fulfilled like you know you would feel like using this word oh my god it was literally my wish for this to happen and i'm so glad that it happened i'm seeing that happening for sure this year and again with the world card i just want to highlight it is time to strengthen your foundation this beautiful tree that you see here would not have been there had somebody decided to stop watering the tree midway okay so strengthen the foundation now the last couple of messages that i have for you here is is so funny you know these two cards literally popped out when i was uh, shuffling and you will be surprised the first is surrender your ego and i think i've spoken about ego at length in the numerology part of the video cultivate gratitude be of service to others you know be of service to others is coming as very important for this year because you have a tendency to be absent minded or too engrossed in your life which you may not even realize it's subconscious and that is why you need to be of service to others and this also means if you can start volunteering somewhere feed animals uh it would be great actually if you can start feeding animals <coughs> sorry do things from your heart a big ego can work against you humility will further your goals oh this is also interesting you know why because rahu is about ego if you do something if you find this fame if something gets done suddenly your ego and your arrogance inflates and that's where saturn comes because saturn hates ego so saturn comes with a thicker stick this time and it just puts you down and this is where the tower moment can happen example you did some great project you won an award for it and now you can't stop raving about it which is fine but apart from celebrating yourself what you also do is you just start feeling oh my god i am it i have made it there's nobody like me that's exactly where in your second or your third project the saturn stick would show you your for the lack of word okat it would show you your level it will show you that a be humble practice humility okay then surrender of year of change this was so interesting because you know we have so much of sudden sudden energy happening so of course any change good or bad can be uncomfortable even if it's a good change you know sometimes you feel oh my god are we even ready to take it head strong and like head on and uh, if it's a bad change of course it really really tends to impact us so universe is reminding you that you're cared for always don't be afraid of change be a job health relationship just say all is well and the other two cards that i pulled out after this i felt like pulling out two more cards is surrender low self esteem you deserve success love and abundance if you could not relate to a lot of uh, traits that i spoke of rahu and instead you felt no but i don't feel like this your rahu may be could be at a lower degree in your chart or your rahu may not be very well placed so there's also a chance of low self esteem and regardless even if your rahu is well placed what could be happening is that during those moments of negative patches where the illusion is rahu is going to play on your mind you could feel that oh i i don't have enough confidence to be going ahead with the new brilliant opportunities that are suddenly knocking on my door 
would I be able to do it? Do I have enough wisdom? And that's where this card says, time to surrender low self-esteem. You deserve success, love and abundance. Set an intention to identify and release anything that's to do with low self-esteem. And lastly, surrender to success. You're ready to experience abundance. Don't look back at roadblocks or difficulties. Leap into an exciting new world of possibilities. You know, this year is going to be very important. Whatever you this year would finally shape up and show results in 2026 and you would start seeing oh these are the kind of results i can expect in 2025 if this year you follow through the advice that i've given you in this video i think this year would be a game changer for you so yeah that was it all for you and if any part of this resonated any part of it you wish for it to come true please do comment below because it helps uh, increase the reach of my channel Thank you. Bye.